Welcome back. So I asked my followers on TikTok to send me photos on Instagram through Instagram DMs and then I'm going to choose 20 of them and edit their photos. Now I didn't really expect to get this many messages. Um, this is my Yeah, I got like maybe 200, I have like 99 requests. Um, so if you send me a message with your photos and I did not reply or I did not see it, I'm sorry. Uh, I have only 24 hours in a day and I sleep for like eight of them and I'm working too, so I don't have time to, you know, go through all the photos. But I choose 20 of them. I actually. I'm actually really surprised, like some of them are really really nice, I like them. Okay, the video finishes here because I am an idiot and I should ask these people to send me their high res photos. No, no, this shitty photos. So, the video finishes here for now and I will see you in 3, 2, 1 and we're back. So, I don't have clear have all the photos, I only have 12 photos of which two are from the same person because I really liked it. I'm just gonna edit this for now and wait for the rest whenever I get the rest, edit the rest, but not in this video. So in this video, we're only gonna go through these photos so you can see how I edit these photos. And it's kind of basically the same thing over and over again, but you know, you see how I edit photos. Also, I'm really sorry again if I didn't pick your photos but I had over like 2,000 messages request in like two days and I, I just don't have enough time to do it so I'm sorry again, okay? Next time. Now, first of all, if you're new here, if you're coming from TikTok, if you're coming from uh, MySpace, I don't even know what MySpace is anymore. Uh, welcome, welcome to the channel. Remember to subscribe, like, all the things and let's keep on going with the video. So first photo, it's this uh, beautiful lady uh, from Indonesia. Also, I don't know why, I think because of my location, but 99.9% .9 of the photos that I got was from Indonesian people. So, Tira Makasi. So let's start. This uh, beautiful lady, which her name is uh, Agnesia. Agnesia? Agnesia. Let's go. So I'm going to use my presets as a base and then go and edit through, you know, my usual process. So this photo is really well lit in. It's a really nice photo. So I'm going to go with moody skins. Usually that works pretty well. Yes. First thing first, I adjust white balance. That looks nice. Put down the highlights a little bit, a little bit of the shadows. Just like that. That looks nice. And maybe I'll put this up a little bit, put this down just a tiny bit. That looks good to me. And usually what I do, I take like a radial filter. I put it on my subject, like around the face, for example. Feather it, uh, invert it, and let's do something like that. And then I just want to duplicate it, take the invitation, exposure down. So you basically get this like focus on the subject. This is before, this is after. Uh, I actually want to put this up a little more. Yeah, that's perfect. Next up is this. Um, beautiful bikini shot nice pool in the back i can see uh so you can see i have like a bunch of presets and obviously this is, a, this is an iphone photo so it's not gonna work perfectly but we're gonna try to work it out uh probably something that works here it's uh, 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 uh seen stuff i use seen stuff for a bunch of my photos usually so i'm gonna strain in the photo we cut it up a little bit Fix the white balance a little bit, maybe here. No. A little bit. Ooh, that's nice. 
put down in the shadow, a bit of contrast. And that looks nice to me. Maybe a little bit more exposure. Tiny bit less contrast. That's good. That's it's amazing photo. I'll pop that. Next photo. Next photo is this girl. Okay, I'm gonna go for. Hmm, that looks nice. Moody skins. Moody skins is like my favorite one to use inside. Obviously, bring down that white balance a little bit. Bring on the exposure. Oh, that looks amazing. And then I, I want her skin to look a bit more orange rather than pink. So I'm gonna go to here. Da -da -da, saturation up a little bit. Let's put that up too. And then I'm gonna go to here. And just mess with this until I get a nice, oh, that's nice. Bring a tiny bit of shadow in to bring the contrast. Beautiful. And then there's a logo here, so I don't like, but whatever. Nice photo. Before, after, look at that. Amazing. Next up, this uh, beautiful lady. Again, Moody Skin is going to work amazing here because it's white drop, white latent photo. So let's fix the white, uh, white balance. Bring down the exposure a little bit. Bring down the shadows. Bit of contrast in. A bit more exposure. And I mean, that's already amazing. Look at that. Can't really understand if it's straight, but I can look here. Yeah. Nice uh, Supreme gum. Let's put the tone curve a little bit down. Oh, not too much. Bit of that, bit of that. And that's amazing. Look at that. It's four, after. Love it. Next up, we'll go with this guy, and I think I'm gonna go with Cine Stuff here. Cine Stuff works really well outside, like, this is like normally, that's like, that's really a sick photo. Nice, like, teal and orange, you know, that nice look. Um, this photo was taken in harsh lighting, and you can see harsh shadows, so it's nothing about what you can do. I'm getting so many messages, shut up. So, I wanna put this guy right in the middle of the frame. I'm gonna cut up the top because I don't like it too much. It's way better. Texture down a little bit. And white balance. That's about right. Before, after. Pretty cool photo. Next up, we're going to use Cine Stuff, actually. Ooh, Moody Skins. As I said, inside Moody Skins is. I would probably release also a preset package soon, so stay tuned with that. Um, if you want to edit the photos like I do, it's going to be super easy. I'm going to release a pack, very cheap, soon, in the next few months maybe. So you can just, uh, you know, take it, put it on your photos, edit the same way I'm doing right now on a laptop, on Lightroom, or on a mobile phone. Easy. So here I'm going to put the saturation a little bit higher. Bit of contrast, fix the white balance. Oh no, 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 fix it manually. Look, that's amazing. Bring down the shadows, cut the photo so the, the bin is on, it's not in the way. Nice rid of thirds. There's a bin there, but we're not gonna care about it. That it's amazing. I could probably Photoshop that out, but as I said, I have timing problems because of my really tight schedule lately, so I cannot spend too much time 
on Photoshop. So I'm just gonna do that. Wow, Lightroom, you suck. <laughs> Let's just leave the bean there and pretend it's meant to be there. That's it. Amazing. Before, after. Like that. Sick. All right, actually, this is probably my favorite photos out of all of them. So thank you for sending it. Um, your name is gonna be whatever here. And, oh, wow. So this is what I'm talking about. This is a preset. This is literally just clicking the preset and this happened. How amazing is that? Shout it up and it's done. Bit of that. And it's done. Before, after. See, if it's a photo taken with like a camera, it works so well. This is gonna be the same. Seen the stuff. Oh, a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit of green, so I don't like here. So the light is a bit more harsh in this photo. So you have to like play around with it. Because I don't really like the contrast of her and the greens behind. So what I'm gonna do is uh, bring down the greens. Bring up her a little bit, yeah. Da, da, da. And then play around because I, I want the green to be more like yellowish. I don't want it to be pop a little bit more. That is nice. That is nice. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Thank you for sending your photo. Look at that. Before, after. Love it. Totally amazing. This, I think, is an iPhone photo. Maybe not, but it's pretty low quality, so I'm gonna try and do my best. I'm sorry. Um, when you send your photo story, try and send the low quality because it's easier for me to edit. Because right now, these are mostly JPEGs, and that's not the best. Anyways, no excuses. So, since stuff works good usually, uh, actually, see those. Ooh, yeah. So, I did it to this preset exactly for like these kind of shots where there's like a sunset or a sunrise and you just put it on everything because orange and you just silhouette yourself out like this girl this time you know with that like that a bit of contrast like that and he's like look at that before or after that's amazing I'll do that a little bit cut the tree Amazing, looking over an amazing sunset. Now this is, pretty sure this was edited before, cause like her, she looks really golden, but let's see. Let's see what I can do. Hmm, this is a challenge. Definitely bring everything down. Because she looks like she's like taking, catching fire. So she's so like so hot, like not hot, hot, like you know, you know what I mean. Whatever. Oh, this is hard to edit. This is why you should send raw photos because this is gonna be really hard to edit. Um, you just gonna do that. Ooh. Okay, we're going somewhere. So she's really tan. Like her skin is really brown, so it's really. It's an interesting situation. I don't really know what to do, but. Probably I would go with something like this, you know. Popping too much. That's not bad. Before and after. Yeah, happy with that. And almost the last one. My screen is like. Oh no. Let's cut that up. Put a nice thin stuff on it. Put those highlights down. Bring those things down. Exposure is nice. A 
little bit of light and uh, it's amazing last photos last photo last photo last photo beach release works amazing here look at that water look at the color of that water so I'm just gonna put that up bring those greens towards the yellow bring the yellow towards the yellow And that is amazing. Before, after. No. Be less pink. Amazing. That's it. So I want to specify that me editing these photos is this is completely my style, this is what I like to edit too. So the colors that I use, you might not like them. That's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's photography, it's art, it's really subjective. So don't uh, insult me in the comments because it's gonna happen. And please just, you know, be kind with one another. It's fine, it's art, it's subjective. Everybody, 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 everybody can like anything so this is just my style i'm not making any of this photo better i'm not claiming i'm making this photo better i just like the way it is so i hope you guys like this video i'm gonna make another photo challenge soon as soon as my inbox stop buzzing um so stay tuned on my tiktok follow me on instagram subscribe here until the next one take care guys